subscribe and share. Android application how to is going to cover how do you change the color of the background and the actual text color. And this is a very important tool to know or skill to know and that way that you can end up making the best application you can whenever you're going to make yours. But anyways, let's jump into a quick personal advertisement and then go into this how-to. Thanks for sticking around during the ads. Please feel free to click on the icons shown to be taken to areas where you can help us. All links will be below for mobile and other users. Welcome back. So as far as this goes, let's explain this quick setup. In Android Studio, if you go to Design, you can see the user interface on the layouts. But if you go to the text and if you see a code in just the code, click Preview and this will bring up the design and the code so you can see the changes right then and there. So what we want to change is the text on the uh, this text view, this little dot. And uh, also I want to change one of the buttons so you can see the change. So what we want to do is on the button itself and or anything with text on it, just go ahead and let's start a new line and type in Android and then that's in text color. And what we want to do is find the hex code for the color we want. Now, if you don't know it, then it's fine. But also, let's go ahead and um, go to the very top for the entire layout, and um, and let's change the background. And again, if you don't know it, it's fine. And let's just go to Design within Android Studio. It knows there is some problems that shown. So what we can do is go down to 40 relative layout, which is what we want to change the background color. Find background. And since we started typing in, even though we didn't fill anything out, this will be blue, so it's easier to find for us. And um, we want to click those dots and go to color. And we can say what color we want, everything. So let's make it a hot pink. And as you see here, we got the hex code, but we don't really want to deal with that. So let's press OK. And now we got a hot pink as far as the background. So uh, if we go back to the code itself, you can see the hex code right here where we left off. Now, going back to the button, as we see here, we didn't complete the text. So we can go back within here, but let's just start typing out a hex code. What we can do is copy and paste this hex code in there and we see if we can change the, the text. Or let's, um, let's go into the design again. Make sure we select the button. Let's go down to the text color and click the dots again. And let's change this to a uh, green. That's a little unsettling. So let's change it to a dark, maybe a uh, dark blue would be fine. And we can change the size and the brightness and the opaque. And just press OK. And right here, it's, it's almost black, so we can fix it by doing that. And you can see here, there's a little bit of a change. Now, in addition, we could change the actual image background. I'm going to do something that you're not really supposed to, but what the hey? So, we're going to change the background of this button and uh, let's go down one and do Android 
background drawable and the uh, the actual image needs to be stored with depending on what you're exactly you're using is depending on what where it needs to be stored I like to store it within these you can also store it within drawable on Eclipse it's a little bit different on the area but pretty much if you look in these they got the icon launcher PNG that that's the area that you want to store it. I don't don't call it that because um, this is what's used for when someone downloads your application the icon so call it something else but I'm gonna be using it for this sample so we're gonna be using IC launcher or in fact because we already see the text here I'm just gonna pick something new that um, we don't even see within this list so let's select it here and let's just type start typing as you see here we got a whole list and we can select from the list or we can keep typing and let's just uh, select the first thing just because and there you go so our background is that image so, and that's very important if if you don't like the button color or the button itself then basically if you want to change the background of the button or the image of the button without affecting the text then you can make or find your own button image make it to a PNG put it into the right folder and then what can happen is just do that and type in the name and it will show up like that now let's say that we don't want that anymore let's just get rid of that and let's get rid of that and let's say I, I, I don't want this color anymore let's get rid of that it's that simple so for this I can also get rid of this but I want to hide these dots so what I'll do is just click on the dot click that and since we got a white background there we go and we can't see it because it's white on white as if uh, same color as the background but anyways this has been Craig Bennett the founder of Modern Tech Views Note hopefully this answers some questions and help you guys out so if you got any questions leave that below the comment section and if you do have anything to match and then please leave that below and in the comment section too now if uh, you like this please leave a like subscribe share and check out my links and other videos if you don't like this then go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why so I can fix it in future videos but if you do want to play around with this code I do have a link to it in github Check that out, and, um, and I'll see you guys later. Hope you have a great day.